We got a surprise blind for you folks. And it's a big one. Stay tuned. This barrel here again. I know it's been a while. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been doing some, dealing with some real life stuff here, so. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, as you see, we're in a new space. Yeah. Uh, work in progress. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's lead. <laughs> a lot of stuff has been happening. It's been hard to film. COVID got involved. You yeah. Know, so, so but, you know, we're still chugging away. We took a, a week off, but we had a lot of time to plan, mm -hmm. prep, and man, I think we're coming back strong. Coming back very strong. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> what was that? Do a shout out real quick. Yeah, do a shout out. My boy Joe over here, man. Really, yeah. now a really good friend of mine. <laughs> and we, all, we all know Joe and his collection, man. This, this Joe guy mm. sent us a surprise blind. Um, just got in contact with me and decided that he wanted to give us a blind of, we don't know what, the key is right here. As we always call it, he wrote down the key too. So he, the key. he's, he's you know, up with the program, oh, which, yeah. which I respect. He watches. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yeah, so I have no idea what we got here. He labeled them one through four. They're gonna be A through B, A through D for us. And he also threw in a fifth bottle too, a fifth sample that I don't know what it is. He told us to kind of enjoy it off camera and, and talk about it, see how it develops, but we'll see. He, he, asked, we'll, he uh... asked to maybe do it off camera. So he actually said this is what he wanted us to do. Go through these four and you actually see there's a lot left here. We filled the Glencairns all, you know, decent little pours here so we know what we're getting, got, got some time. He asked that we leave some left in there so that we can compare them with other things that we may have later on, off camera or on camera later. But he thinks that we're gonna be able to find something that relates to this. So maybe we will, maybe we won't. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do. Be like, this reminds me of and kind of get into it. So, yeah, that's a good idea. explaining, let's just start drinking some of this um, Wonder whiskey. I have no idea what it is. Let's hope it's a good blind. That's a, yeah. <laughs> That's, we have no idea. I He's like, I got the perfect blind for you guys. Yeah. Gave him a baggie full of bottles. <laughs> Like a Dude, drug deal. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, where are you at right now? I'm in the area now. I'm in Kent. You know, dude pulls up in a van right outside my boss's office. Her window's right there. <laughs> he just holds the bag out the window. <laughs> it was like a drug deal. It's kind of, it's kind of sketchy. But I'm not in jail or anything, so we're good. Let's go. Let's go for glass. Letter A. A. Hmm. Dang. No, actually, it's been a minute since I've even drank whiskey. Really? Yeah. Been on a sabbatical? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do any dry January or anything like that, but yeah, it's nice to get back into the game with such a strong <laughs> nose, too. Yeah, I feel wow. like there's a lot of whiskey in here. <laughs> <laughs> this smells like whiskey. I think that's where I'm at again. You know, I'm back, <laughs> back to basics. Uh, oh. It's going to bite me if, it, if I'm wrong, but it, I, I think this is over 100 proof. Yeah, it, it smells at least on the nose. That's what I it smells yeah, like. It's that's why I said it, it smells hot, right? But then like but. I'm, I'm worried because it's been so long since I've had anything. Oh, that's like mm. like vanilla cream. It kind of gives me that like that ice cream vanilla a little bit. Oh, like, you know, like yeah. the vanilla bean. Yeah, it's the, not. It's it's not like the vanilla that you make an extract of. It's like vanilla yeah, ice cream. Uh, ice cream, like yeah, a, like French vanilla. Mm -hmm. or, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to describe it. Yeah, it's got like kind of sweet. Yeah. It's kind of cooling off the, the more I smell it. So maybe it, this is the first sip of the night, so maybe that's it. Dude, that is, that's like so good. I'm like, I'm all over that nose. Yeah, that's a delicious nose. I'm gonna taste it now. Yeah, I wanna Let's jump see. in. Oh. It's definitely ringing some bells. Oh, what's that profile? That's really good. You get the light sweetness. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of carries over. You get a little tiny hint of a tingle from the alcohol, but it's 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 nice. It's right, Dude, I think it's right in that sweet it's, spot. I was gonna say it's the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. The proof. I'm gonna stick to that. I think it is right there at the 100 proof. Okay. Maybe yeah. 95. Yeah, I, I'm gonna bump mine back down to like right give or take five points around 100. Yeah, me too. Like 105 to 95. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's, it tastes familiar. It really does. But it's... A little know. bit of oak in there. Yeah. You get a little bit of that oak. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the barrel on that. It's pleasant whiskey. 
Dude, that, that's just pleasant. That's a sipper. That is definitely a sipper. That, man, it just, it, it <laughs> it's evolved so it so well together. It's just, mm -hmm. it, they just conjoined all, the proof point. Nothing the, harsh at no, all. No, the nose and the, the palate. Um, the palate is different than the nose, I will say. Mm -hmm. It definitely throws me for a spin on that. It yeah. like makes my nose question itself a little bit, but it's very good, very yummy. Familiar profile. I can't think of it what it is now, but maybe we'll get to it. I almost feel like it's a slightly higher rye mash bill. Like it's got a little bit of that like creamy rye-ness, like where it's not like grassy yet, mm -hmm. but it's just like reminiscent. Like there's a okay. little bit more okay. in there than normal. Maybe. I like that. I hope I'm not wrong. We'll see. But yeah, that was really good. I. Um, it's um, and the finish is is good too. And it keeps that, that that balance point, right? But it's not like something like... But it's so light in the first place. Exactly. You know, it, that's, it, what, that's what it is. It's a light finish. Mm -hmm. It's one flavor. It's one... Mm -hmm. That light it's touch light. of vanilla. Mm -hmm. But it's funny, the palette isn't very vanilla-y. No. It goes to like, I guess, candy-ish, like sweet. Yeah, a little something bit. Something different. A little bit of creaminess, but mm -hmm. yeah, it just... Yeah, it goes back to that sweet smell. Well, that was pretty good. I don't have a similarity yet. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Let's go to B. B. Time for B. Wow, that's a different animal. Okay, yeah. that okay, that almost smells finished. You think this one's finished? Right away, there's a lot happening. I'm getting a little bit of, it almost smells like there could be like a wine finish in there. Mm. Just a little bit. Wine. <sighs> okay, you know what? I see where you're coming from. But, <laughs> But I've been thrown a loop so much in the bourbon world yeah. that it's hard to tell for me <laughs> whether it's been finished or not. So Yeah, this is potent. It is. There's a lot of Okay, you know what's the you potent, but it's not proofy. No, no, not proofy. It's just like it's like there's it's like a finish. Like there's just a lot in there. Speaking of finish, we gotta finish this up soon too. Yeah, I'm working <laughs> on it. <laughs> I was thinking like candy cane, but not. Hmm. I don't know what else to say about it. I need to taste it. I'm going in for the Because I'm kind of lost. The nose is so good, though. Mm -hmm. Whoa. A lot more mellow. Mm. It's interesting. Hmm. It's like, uh, the proof hits me when it, when it's, when it, after a second of being in the mouth. Yeah, it, it's kind of watery at first almost. Yeah. And then you get that proof. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit, like it's nothing crazy again. Interesting. I hate having no hints. I don't think it's finished. No, no. I definitely don't think it is anymore. But that nose is impressive. Yeah. It How is. much is on that nose? Seriously, that, that's what I'm saying, man. If that's not finished, what the heck is it? That's what it relates to though for me, mm -hmm. a finished whiskey. But I, I had a, I had a feeling that I, when you said it, I got what you meant. But I, I don't think this is finished, even on the nose. I, I didn't think so. But it's very good. Mm -hmm. it has a little bit of rice spice. Yeah, almost like a, I don't know, almost old granddaddy. Okay. I hope I'm not offending anyone by calling this old granddaddy, but I don't think it's old granddad. But I think it's, I don't think it's, it's definitely not. Of the, the Jim Beam profile. It's kind of Jim Beamy to me. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. It's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, it kind of reminds me of like you go into an attic to get your whiskey. That's what it, I, I'm getting that old kind of yeah. attic y smell. Here. Okay. And I, I like it though. It's like, it's not like the moldy attic. No, it's like, like just you know, kind of musky. Just, yeah. 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 It's like you, you you're. You go to your grandpa's house, you go to the attic, it's a little dusty in there, you find a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Crack it open. <laughs> Everyone at home is just laughing because they know exactly what we're drinking. Yep. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that was enjoyable. So far, I mean, they're, they're two pretty good whiskeys. Oh, this makes me nervous. <laughs> Bro, I hate blinds. I hate blinds, especially when I don't know what it is. Yeah, man. there's like no hint. 
No hint at all. I'm, I'm gonna be so embarrassed, but you know what? I'm. That's fine. I'm all for it. We're not pros. I know. So. It's just fun. I have a better excuse than you. I'm the scotch guy. The scotch guy. You're the bourbon guy. You should be the one be like, oh, I know what this is. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, all right, number three. Or letter C. So before we go any further, we're gonna stop you right there. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like, what you see. And be sure to hit the bell. <laughs> also, we have a word from our sponsor to go with <laughs> We have a little brother here as well, Baby Barrel. Baby we'll call Barrel. Him. You remember Brother Barrel? At BB, when he's here, is Baby Barrel. BBB. You're actually gonna see him on every- yep. BBB. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see him on every episode from now on. You're gonna have to find the hidden Preston. You, you're, you'll find him in every episode. Comment if you find him and the timestamp. Timestamp it. And if you do, we'll pin your comment. As if we have just hundreds of people commenting on our video. But we'll start it. It's a thing. Preston's in every video. Go sit down. I want to try that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it right away. Best nose so far on C. For Ooh, me. Oh, man. There is a lot here. Dude. It's got that mix of oak and sweetness, but oh. that's really nice. Whoa. I don't even want to drink it, Chris. You just want to sniff it all day? I, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm with you. That that nose Dude, is by far the best so far. This is impressive. Joe, what are you doing, man? What is this? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm like, it's, he, he's like sit, sending those messages. He's just laughing. Find something that is like it. Man, but this is just I so... Don't... Oh, look at the legs on that, too. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like a candle wax coming down the candle. <laughs> Love that. Oh, okay, that's like, give me a little bit of like that earth, earthy feel, a little bit, okay? I don't know about the palate, but the, the nose is giving me a little bit of that herby note, like, like I'm almost getting wild turkey vibes. But that's why I like this so much. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm getting wild turkey vibes. <sighs> Let's see. What the? But, <laughs> But the nose, I think, is, isn't. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with that. That's that's what it's reminding me of. It, not core wild turkey. Kind of gives me like rare breed, similar. Yeah, but not as proofy. No. Like maybe a Russell's. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe Russell's. But yeah, not like 101 mm -hmm. or, or wild turkey. Yeah, it's kind of got that similar earthy, Nice. It has that tone. There's a lot in there. Like it's super interesting. A um, little bit of like pine. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. A little bit of pine mm -hmm. spice. Yeah, kind of like that tangy pine. Mm -hmm. Almost not tangy, but you know. No, I know what you mean. Like mm -hmm. picking up. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. Pine. Mm. Uh, that's lovely. Wow. So far, that's my favorite. I think. Like that's got the most. I don't know. Interest. Dude, it's, it's the most interest. That's a solid A, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the finish is a, there's some nut in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. little, little nutty there. Yeah. But it's not like. Not a peanut. Mm -mm, not like beam at all. Not like Nothing beam. Jim Beamy at all. Mm -hmm. If I were to relate it to anything, like you said, kind of wild turkey a little bit. I, I think that's just, that's what it's given me. It's, oh man. That was good. Dude, that finish lasts a while and it's just, it, it's changing. It's enjoyable. That's gonna be like a late night home from work, just sit on the couch, relax, and sit. This is like, what is, that makes me wanna like, I'm glad, see, this is why I'm glad I saved some. I wanna share this with people, man. I, I hope the, like, it's affordable. I hope whatever it is, it's like a I nice, really hope so. easy to find bottle. I really hope so. I'm, and I'm wondering if we've had this before. It's so like, it's not familiar to me at all. But it is, like when we're talking about what it reminds us of, so that's kind of where we're both at with that wild turkey, Russell's type of feel, but whatever that is, but that is wonderful. What? That's good. What'd you look at him for? Oh, I just said clean finish. I can look at him. He's my baby brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is... You wanna try it? Yeah. Try that, dude. I'll take it, 
<laughs> Bro literally went like this. <clears throat> he inhaled it and said, good, good. <laughs> that's that's the that's baby barrel Joe. That's that's how he treats whiskey, like it's beer. <laughs> the baby Ooh. beer barrel brother. B. Okay, that's familiar. Yep. Is that okay? Wait, hold on. This reminds me of like Heaven Hill, Elijah Craig. Oh, I was going somewhere else. Let me give him another sip. Let me see what you get. What do you get? I feel like this might be a Buffalo product. I think it's Heaven Hill Distillery. I'm gonna stick with Buffalo. That is candy. That is sweet. I know it's candy, you're right, okay, <laughs> shut up. Okay, the first nose really gave me similar Heaven Hill vibes. Okay, that's fine, you're just wrong. <laughs> okay, it's like a, a light, like non-proofy, Anything bottle and bond, but I'm thinking like 95 tops. I'm I'm right there with you. Buffalo product. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I think you're convincing me. I don't know why I, I just instantly threw out Heaven Hill. No, because uh, Heaven Hill has some sweet. Whiskeys. Yeah, dude, they're, they're just all over the place. Mm -hmm. I love their stuff. Mm -hmm. they, they got a variety. They surprise but, me with a lot of stuff they do. But this is just like. The most different. You're, you're, you're right. It and is, it I, is Buffalo it's got that, Trace. Whenever I get that candy note, like I, <laughs> I have to guess Buffalo Trace product. What the heck is that? Whoa! I got a whole new. There's a there's a certain fruit, man. If you if you hang on to that for a second. Grapey. Is that what People it is? People are gonna roast me. They always roast me because I get grape, but I don't know if I'm getting <sighs> full on grape. No, I'm not getting grape on this one here. <sighs> That's probably that is probably rare. <laughs> That barrel pick eagle right? It's gonna be barrel pick picky. Watch these all be That is picks. wonderful nose. So don't know what exactly this is a good are. nose, man. It's a good nose. I like it. It is sweet and bizarre. <sighs> Wanna sniff this? Take a sniff. How about you taste it too? Stick that up your sniffer. It smells like whiskey. <clears throat> Dang, that's let me see. Oh. <laughs> 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 smells like whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna jump in. This will this will tell me right here. What is that, Elmer T. Lee? I swear, dude. <laughs> that, okay, you're right. Now here's one thing that Buffalo Trace gets me on. Sometimes they got that. <laughs> sometimes he's making fun of my hand gestures. It gives me that kind of similar, like like it's like it could be a cologne. Okay. A little tingly. I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm thrown off now. Now I don't know. <laughs> I'm backing off. What if I'm right and it's Heaven Hill Distillery? I'll quit. I'm thrown off the scent. It's proofier than 95. I think. Or drinks it, at least. God, that's a... And it's not sweet enough on the palate, too, to be E.H. Taylor small batch. That's like 110 plus. This is Rock Hill or something. No, it, I don't think it is. No, I think Rock Hill Farms is like 100 proof. No, Rock Hill's 100 proof. That's why I said 100 proof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think this tastes 100 proof. Or like right around there. And I, I don't think it's Buffalo 100 proof. I think it could be 100 or, or, or a, little, a little harder than that. Really? Yeah, I think I could go with 105. Yeah. I don't know what this is. That, it is good though. This is my favorite. This reminds me a little bit this of is my favorite. certain um, Old Forester product. I'm gonna... A little, little bit of similar brown form and type. Okay. On the, on the palette only. Interesting. Whatever it is, go buy it. That fresh finish. I hope you could buy it. Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it has as much of that fresh... That was interesting. C was good. I would take D and C and interchange them throughout the week as my, my workhorses. Like, if I could drink them all the time, I totally would and just interchange them. They're different whiskeys for different days. I gotta say, man. That's good. C is attic, mm. D is basement. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I think this is like, like robust and then just like, just sweet enjoyment. But that is just, it's there. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's got I could pick this guy out in a crowd, man. Yeah, it's got everything you'd want. Yeah. Nice, warm. sweet, approachable nose. Dude, the, the proof tastes perfect, whatever it is. And it's just like packed with this like nice amount of flavor, like the sweetness, a little bit of spice. 
you get some of that barrel. A little bit of barrel, yeah. Probably. And then the, the and then the uh, the finish like kind of fizzles into this and slowly into this nice just sweet note and then dissipates slowly. Uh oh, this is bad. Huh? Because that's really good, and I don't know what I like the best anymore. <laughs> you gotta pick a rating, and we gotta push them out. There's a V here where I'm thinking that might be rye. Yeah. Such as A and D kind of give me that a little bit. Yeah, which one was it? Because you said, also B, you, I think you mentioned there's a little bit of rye notes mm -hmm. in there, but A, I, I can't remember if it was A or... No, this was the light sweetness. Like, I feel like this is like a... Oh, a, okay. Real light, could... Okay, be, you're right, you're right, B. A weeder. Sorry, B, you this said B. could be a weeder. You think A's a weeder, huh? It could be, it's so light and sweet. Go back on the nose on that. Holy crap, maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> You could be right. I'll guess it. I'll guess it on camera. That way we'll see if we eat her. I'm going, yeah, man. I got my list. I got my one, two, three, four. Okay, number four. You got your number four? Actually, <laughs> okay, I did numbers again. Okay, so, that's fine. I got to add them up. Add them up. We'll fast forward this one. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> So yeah, I, I just decided to, to do it a certain type of... <laughs> you don't know if you want to do that with what we're doing here. <laughs> I already tasted. What an idiot. Brought to you by Jack hey, Daniels. What an idiot. Oh, it's so good. No, it's not brought to us by Jack Daniels. Stop doing <laughs> false promos. Based on numbers, I have my favorite now. Mm -hmm. My rating system, it's where I rate the nose, palate, finish, out of 10, one out of 10, and then I add them up. Okay. We'll do one, two, three, and just like point. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three. <laughs> four. So we agreed on that one. Yeah, four, I mean, number four, I think, is B. Yeah, that's four. I, I love mean, this. it was great. You're nuts with this whole, look at, you literally have four pegs here, four planks. Tier system. Tier. Dude, he's, he's, I'm on it. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of interesting yeah. because the nose was really good it it was pungent you know it, it had that i'm very surprised to be honest uh that my rating for that one i thought i liked that better than a me too but i i didn't because i liked the old attic uh esque to that i got that's what i wrote down here that reminded me of and i okay it gave me that and i liked it but the the initial like drink like mm -hmm. the the nose was great but the initial drink it was just like watery yeah. and nothing there it the took a minute feel to... wasn't really no all over it, it took a sec to kick in yeah. for me to get anything yeah, it wasn't I, all over the mouthfeel you know, there but like you said i didn't at, like being in limbo at first watery and then it was there mm -hmm. it was interesting um our third place our second to go one <laughs> two three why are we on it yeah um, I mean, it was really good. It was light, nose to finish. Yeah, so, and, and I got vanilla ice cream on it, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. And then a little more pretty wheat, wheaty. And I think that transitioned really well with the barrel. Yeah. Because remember, we got, I got more, we got some barrel on that, but it transitioned very well with that wheaty, wheaty esque kind of taste. It was like a that two, with. three note hit, you know? Like True. there wasn't a lot going on, but it was great. Yeah. It was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the palette was different than the nose. It caught me off guard for sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay with that. It, it I mean, good. it was good. I don't think there's any bad whiskeys. No, not at all. No, no, no. Um, all right. So my next to go, I'll point three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, we swapped. We swapped. Man. Crazy. All right. So that's going to be your winner. That's my winner. And I'm going to be like that. So Harrison first. Let's talk about it. So D was absolutely it was very fascinating. It was very mm. good. Oh, yeah. It was a very good whiskey, and you said it best. Where I, if I could drink this all the time, I'd have three bottles of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, gave me that similar brown foam and vibes of where you know that um, pretty on the palate at least you get that ma uh, maple brown sugar, mm -hmm. but it's not overbearing like how some whiskeys do it. Like that. Oh, it's like it's like you get that like artificial almost. Yeah. Like, like it's almost mm -hmm. like it's not that. syrupy, but true. No, and, and it's, it's like great. sometimes with a mouthfeel with that, it feels like you got a little bit of that dusting like that sugar in your mouth like yeah. it's like you're chewing like on it like granulated yeah, almost but that's not what this one is that does really oh. good at just adding enough in there mm -hmm. and then like you said that candy type nose it threw us off with the palate mm -hmm. reminded me of i said brown foreman but i don't know for sure but it gave me those heaven hill vibes too mm -hmm. on the nose at least so i don't think it's a buffalo trace product it might be but it was very good but see for me <clears throat> 
it gave me, like you said, the wild turkey type esque. Yeah. And I, I liked that pine and the palette. I knew that was going to be your profile. I knew you're going to gravitate as much as how good this I one know, was. Man. I knew you're going to gravitate because that's fantastic. It is, dude. That that, that one for me, mm -hmm. barely by by hardly, hardly any, bro. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my rating here on everything here. So this one B was 23.2 out of. Not really out of any, I guess out of 30. 30. Yeah, out of 30. Okay, that's pretty good. 23.5. Okay. So that's a 0.2 difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, 0.3 difference. And then my D is 27.5. And then C is 27.8. So again, a 0 0.3 0 point difference. That's it, really These close. were really close, but I stuck with C. Jeez. And let's go with why you chose D. Okay, well, I think this is such a good whiskey. I would drink this. This would be my, my workhorse. I'd put it in, you know, a highball. I'd make old fashions out of it. I'd drink it on the rocks. I'd drink it straight. If I had a 1.75 liter of this whiskey, I would be a happy man. But, oh man, the sweetness and how much is in there and how it evolves. Yeah, man, the finish gives me a little bit of that uh, bubble gum, like oh, hubba bubba. And, and it's so weird because I usually don't like uh, desserts that much. I'd rather just eat more dinner or just stop there. But with whiskey, it's like, I keep getting drawn back to like the, the little bit of barrel, but the sweetness too. And, uh, it's killing me. But yeah, let's open this key and see what's going on. But, the key, the key. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm so curious and I'm so worried because everyone knows what we're drinking. We got it down there. <laughs> and man, it's the same but different. Hope you like them. That's what the card says here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What they are. Now I'm really. Oh, okay. Number one is Buffalo Trace store pick from, oh. from Hollywood. Hollywood, Dan in Portland, Oregon. I really like their picks. So, so number one is Buffalo Trace store pick. Interesting. And I was worried when he said Buffalo. When I read Buffalo <laughs> Trace. I'm like, there's that's all no way. Yeah, there's no way. But then store pick. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> At right. least it's like not conventional right. Buffalo right. Trace. Right. That's that is a good pick, man. That's that's interesting. a good pick. That threw because, me off. And honestly, Buffalo Trace store picks really do differ from. Regular oh, Buffalo Trace, man. I have a store pick, and it is. It's, it's nothing like. I wouldn't get. It's the like shelf. real harsh, dude. Yeah, it, it's it tastes hotter than <sighs> it's proof. Every store pick I've had, and I think I've only had two now, three of <laughs> Buffalo Trace is so massively <sighs> different from just regular Buffalo Trace. So that's interesting that that's what A was. Huh? And I got, I got two second place <gasps> or third place. Guess what was last place, bro? <laughs> What's last place? <laughs> wait. This is so sad. Let, wait, wait, wait. Let me sniff again. People are going to get so mad at us, bro. People are going to be so mad. Oh my gosh. Tell me. <laughs> Give me the reveal. <laughs> Joe, why did you do this? Blanton store pick. <laughs> Okay, in all honesty, it is a store pick though. Oh. Okay, go watch our Blanton's video um, right, yeah, right here, thing, I think. Yeah, this, this isn't too <laughs> far off from our Blanton's videos. You know I, that we're not the biggest fans of, but that's crazy. Are these all Buffalo Trace? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. All right, C. That had a great nose though. And you said, go back, listen. That with the nose, mm -hmm. I think you said like it's kind of like a cologne. Yes. Like, oh, shoot, you said you that, did. and we said that about Buffalo. I said that about Blanton's. Blanton's. That. You're right. Okay. Ooh, There's the connection. Interesting. We're not too bad. Is that funny? That's interesting. All right. Now let's let's see what C is. This is your number one. Yep. Mine number two. Let's see what number one is, you guys. God, I hate this. C is Eagle Rare Store Pick. From a store in That's Mexico. a good store pick. That's a gosh darn amazing store pick right there, I'll say. Which one did I say was Eagle Rare? Uh, you said, I, if that's Eagle Rare, I swear. <laughs> oh, this one, D. Okay. Interesting. Store pick Eagle Rare. Store pick Rare. Eagle Rare. That's a good, that's, that's that's a good pick. That's crazy. 
That's totally like that that oaky and earthy profile, like a wild turkey product. Yeah. That was good. So yeah. that's 95 proof. Mm-hmm. I think like that's what we, what we were thinking. We were at, yeah, within we were the right five there. point difference. Like, okay, maybe Russell's. Yeah. Not 101 or anything. It may be something else. Okay. That's good. Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit because I want to know what. Okay, what's my favorite? What's my... what's my palette like? Wow. Did I win? Yeah, I'd say you won. So, I think a lot of people would agree with you here. E.H. Taylor single barrel store pick. Really? Okay. I, I, <laughs> I, cause I backed up, that nose was totally. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace, but like the palette was so different. And you know what's funny? You guys can, <laughs> can, can atone to this. Every time an E.H. Taylor specifically is in a blind, his eyes perk up and he goes, I know what this is. It's that <laughs> Buffalo Trace profile. Every time when it's an E.H. Taylor, uh, only just... an E.H. Taylor will he go on about that. So, But in all fairness, the taste threw me off. It did, it, yep. it threw me off the scent. So what threw me off, Chris, I read a little farther and that's why it took me a little bit to read the uh, yours because I thought yours was number five. This guy. Oh. Want me to tell you what that is, bro? Sure, yeah, what are we gonna treat ourselves to after? Blanton's, straight from the barrel, 128.5 proof. Well, the... <laughs> Joe, we love you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you this so much, This was so much fun. That was fun, It had man. me sweating. I, I'm glad that none of these are horrible whiskeys. I would, I loved them all. They were all really, really good. But we, we were definitely in consensus that <laughs> mm -hmm. Blanton's was last place. Yeah. Store pick. And it was close. Like I said, it was a point three difference mm -hmm. for me. No, it, it was kind of tough. Yeah, I, I put, I just randomly did like a one to 100. That was fun. I did not expect this at all, man. I, he gave me nothing. That... He gave me no clues. And I guess that's why, I, cause it's, it's Joe we're talking about. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Uh, this guy has a really cool, really awesome collection and I had no idea what he would throw away. So I, I did not think Buffalo Trace profile on any of them. I mean, those store I, I, I will say that's I, fan I thought, fantastic store I, I thought about that on like start A and B. I was like, this kind of reminds me of Buffalo Trace. I didn't say it because I was like, maybe every whiskey just tastes like that. It's been a few weeks since mm -hmm. I've had whiskey, blah, blah, blah. So. I was completely thrown off until this one. 100%, wow. I didn't think Buffalo Trace at all. That was so much fun. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got more coming up. We're back on track and uh, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see progress on this wall. We're really excited to get this thing finished up. Yeah, so we got another video idea filming tomorrow for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And um, that should be out Friday, so. Yeah, Friday. Let's get that going. All See you right. guys. Have a good rest of your night and drink responsibly. See ya. Wow. Shoot, man. That was, dude, that was cool. Thanks, yeah. man. Probably. That's what reminded me. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Store Pick. Blanton Store Pick. <laughs> Eagle Rare Store Pick. Blanton Store Pick. Eagle Rare Store Pick. E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. Okay, hold on. Take your time, drunkard. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Relax. So. <laughs> right? No. No. Simpleton. It literally <laughs> says eagle right there. Okay. Last place. This is last. Hold store on. pick version. Store pick. We got the store pick buffalo here. Totally different than this one. Yeah, dude, this store pick is nuts compared. Um, I want to drink it right now. Compar comparatively to Store this pick? One. Yes. You gotta finish a glass. I know. Oh, you want to drink it out of the bottle? Here. Drink out of the bottle. It's harsh though. Like, it's completely different than this. Because this one... <laughs> Similar nose. Like you said, harsher. It's just a harsh, bro, harsh. But it's still Buffalo Tracy. Like it's like, the, but it's just harsh. 
That's weird. Dude, that's so different. What do I know? What Puff the and Trace store picks are so crazy. I've only had one, and this is blowing my mind. I don't even have a single barrel. <laughs> oh, we don't? I thought we did. 